Hi everyone, my name is Holly. I help out with the youth and family ministry at the Greater Nashville Church. I hope you're all doing well. I cannot believe that the month of April is already over. It blows my mind. I feel like the fact that we've been in quarantine for over a month is mind blowing. <laughs> it just flew by for me. I was able to come back to Texas to be with my family for the month of April and it was just amazing. So this is actually the room that I grew up in. I only made my bed because I knew you guys could see it. <laughs> uh, but it's been really awesome to, to just spend time with my family. It's been a while since I've been home for such an extended period of time, but it's been great. I've been able to cook with my dad for dinner each night. I've been able to watch movies with my mom and just goof around with my sister, Crystal. We made tapioca pearls the other day to make bubble tea. It didn't go the greatest, but it was just our first try. There's a learning curve, we're gonna try again, but it's been super fun. I've been able to spend a ton of time in my hammock in my parents' backyard. The weather has been unbelievable. So I have been having such a great time being home and with my family. But that being said, I'm super excited to be getting back to Nashville soon, hopefully to see all of your faces in person. I, I, I miss you guys so much. I am excited to share with you guys today some of my thoughts, some of my quarantine thoughts. But before I do, I really just wanted to lift all of you up because I have been so encouraged by everyone's effort that they've been making to spend time together. Obviously not physically, but it's been so cool to see people fighting to be connected through house party calls and Zoom calls. Everyone is making such an effort to be united, to connect and to talk to one another. I feel like it's so perfect that our theme for the year is connected because it really feels like that's what we've been doing. <laughs> like it feels like we have been doing whatever it takes, making every effort to stay unified, which I feel like is such a testament to how amazing God's church is. So I just wanted to give you guys a little shout out before I start that you guys have been doing such an amazing job. I've been so encouraged by seeing all of you and I can't wait to continue to connect with all of you. But today I wanted to share with you guys a little bit of where my head has been at emotionally, spiritually, mentally, uh, just over the past uh, month, I guess starting a little bit before quarantine started, before all of the COVID-19 stuff started happening. So if we rewind back to March of this past year, or this year, I was just in a really funky place. I was dealing with a lot um, in my own life and in the lives of people around me that I really cared about. I was dealing with my own mental health stuff. A lot of you guys know that I struggle with depression and anxiety, and, and I had really allowed all of those things in my life to hinder my relationship with God. I was not having consistent times with him, or if I was, it was, I, I felt very obligated to have my times with God. I felt like it was a burden to do all of those things, and, and I knew that I wasn't doing great. <laughs> like, I was very aware of my um, spiritual health. I was aware of where I was at, but the thing that was scariest in all of it is I wasn't concerned with where I was at. I knew that I wasn't doing great, but I also just didn't have the motivation or inspiration or excitement to do anything about it. And, and I think that that was what my wake up call was with the moment that I realized I was like, oh, I like <laughs> actually you should do something about this. Like if I know I'm not doing well, I should make an effort to change that, right? And so I, had that kind of like wake up call and I'm so grateful for our church and having one on one relationships, one another relationships where we can talk and get advice and seek help from one another. And so I talked to someone and we were able just to talk about how I was feeling and where I was at and and the encouragement was to do something that would excite me, something that would get my head back to God, fix my thoughts back on him and and do anything that it took to get excited again. I, I And that's what I wanted. I wanted my relationship with God to be something I was excited about because it it's been such an amazing journey being a disciple and, and having this relationship with God and I wanted it 
to be like that again. I wanted to have that excitement again, and I just was unsure of how. And so after thinking about it, I was reminded of a time similarly in college where I felt something uh, very similar, where I was also feeling just very confused in my relationship with God, a lot of uncertainty in, in who God was to me in my life. I think growing up in a church that is so amazing and loves to preach the word and share the word with people, it's so amazing. I've been so blessed and privileged to have that in my life. But I think what it did was I, or I guess I did it, <laughs> I never really sought that out on my own, that I really did take people's word for how amazing God was and who he was in our lives, but I never really spent time searching for that on my own. And so I was reading through the Old Testament at the time, and there's so many different instances where, where someone says, the Lord our God is dot, 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 uh, or the Lord my God is, insert amazing quality here, right? And so I was reading that and I was like, wow, like the Israelites knew who God was. They knew his character. They knew how he would respond. Like they knew who he was and they were so sure of it. And I wanted to be like that. I wanted to have that same type of mindset. And so for the next 26 days over my winter break, I had done that. I, every single day, I took a different letter of the alphabet and I found an attribute of God. And I would write down the definition, I would write down scriptures that really backed it up. And then I spent some time to journal of how was God that thing in my life? What does it mean for God to be that in my life specifically? And it was so amazing and I love doing it. I called it the ABCs of the Lord my God. And I had so much fun doing it with, and I would talk about it like constantly with everyone. And so I decided to do that again, to realign my thoughts, to fix them back on God and fix them back on Jesus. And so I did it again for the month of April <clears throat> or 26 days. <laughs> um, so today I really wanted to share with you guys some of the words that I found, some of the thoughts that I had, because it really helped me get out of a funk. And I think it even really helped me, especially during the circumstances of everything going on. And so the first word that I wanna share with you guys, it's perfect because it's the first letter of the alphabet, A. <laughs> um, and so for the letter A, I found the word almighty. Quick side note, my mom's a second grade teacher and she's been filming videos for her students and I feel like I'm doing that now. A, <laughs> okay. Uh, so A, the definition being having complete power, omnipotent. The Lord, our God, is almighty. So I wanna read a couple scriptures and then I'll share some of my thoughts of how this really helped. In Nehemiah chapter nine, verses five through six, it says, stand up and praise the Lord your God, who is from everlasting to everlasting. Blessed be your glorious name and may it be exalted above all blessing and praise. You alone are the Lord. You made the heavens, even the highest heavens and all their starry host, the earth and all that is on it, the seas and all that is in them. You give life to everything and the multitudes of heaven worship you. In Jeremiah 32, verse 17, it reads, Ah, sovereign Lord, you have made the heavens and earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. And man, did I need this. <laughs> I needed this reminder of where I was at. I was in such a funk, you know? I, I was feeling out of control. I was feeling very confused. I was feeling very helpless and very faithless. I just had no idea uh, what was going on in my life. I felt just all over the place, right? And I think in, in a moment like that, to be grounded, you have to remember who is in control. And that's God, right? That God is almighty. He is the one in control of our lives. He is the one with complete power this great power that he was able to create the heavens and the earth. I have loved spending time outside. Again, the weather has been amazing. And so I've been able to go on walks with my dogs and hang my hammock up in the backyard and just sit there and admire the trees, admire the sounds of the birds. Like everything in creation is so beautiful and to be reminded that the God who created all of that created me and has a plan for my life and is in control of that plan. 
I needed to remember who was in control of my life, that it wasn't me, it wasn't about all the things that I was doing or not doing, that this is about who God is. And it was such an amazing reminder, I think especially in light of everything happening with COVID-19, the uncertainty, the confusion, all of that can just not go away completely, but really subside in knowing that God is in control. And yes, I still have fear and yes, I still have worries, but I'm not gonna let those things hinder me from walking closely with God because I know who he is and I know that he's in control of all of it. The next word that I wanna share with you guys is the letter C and that word is comfort. Let's see if I can get there. So the Lord, our God, is comfort. A state of physical ease and freedom from pain or constraint. The easing or alleviation of grief or distress. And man, again, I feel like those last couple words really described where I was at at the beginning of the month, that I felt grief, I felt distressed, I felt so much pain, so many feel like I just, I feel, I wish I could describe, I hope that you guys can relate <laughs> uh, to some of those feelings of just feeling so confused and hopeless and lost. And so it was another great reminder for me to remember that God is our comfort. So I want to read a couple of those scriptures. Again, the Lord our God is comfort. In 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3, it reads, Praise be to the God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort. He's the God of all comfort, not just some of it, all of it. In Matthew 5, verse 4, blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. In Psalm 23, verse 4, a classic, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your staff and rod, they comfort me. I feel like even just reading those relaxes me. It brings me to a peace. It centers me to remember that God is comfort for us, that I can find security, that I can find comfort in just being with God. I am someone who is such a doer. I love to do stuff. And, and during the quarantine, I feel like I have been limited in the things that I naturally want to do in the ways that I want to serve. And so it's challenging for me to even remember the reasons that God cares about me because I want to do stuff. And I'm like, well, if I'm not doing stuff, how could he possibly care about me? But reading these scriptures and remembering that God is our comfort, I'm reminded that this isn't about me. Again, like this is about God and who he is in our life, that he wants to, just like the definition says, alleviate all of the pain. He wants to take it away. He wants to get rid of the distress, the grief that we feel. He wants to be a big blanket that just wraps around us and comforts us. And so in a time where I was feeling again so lost and confused, I needed that. I needed to remember that God is the one in control and that he is willing to comfort me in all of that pain and all of those feelings that I had. The next scripture that I wanna read um, or the next word that I wanna share is the letter F, which was for da, 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 faithful, loyal, constant, and steadfast. The Lord our God is faithful. Man, I really love that word steadfast. It's great. Um, so the first scripture I want to read is actually one of my favorite scriptures. I go back to it constantly because I just feel like it's so amazing. And it's in Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 9. Know therefore that the Lord your God is God. He is the faithful God, keeping his covenant of love to a thousand generations of those who love him and keep his commands. And 2 Thessalonians 3, verse 3, it reads, But the Lord is faithful. He will strengthen and protect you from the evil one. 
Hebrews 10, 23. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. Joshua 23, verse 14. You know with all your heart and soul that not one of all the good promises of the Lord your God gave you has failed. Every promise has been fulfilled. Not one has failed. Man, I love that reading that, to be reminded that not only is God in control, not only is he going to comfort us, but that it's promised he will do all of these things, that God will always follow through. He will come through on all of his promises to us. I I just love thinking about that because again, like I, I have so many thoughts and I have so many feelings and I have all of these things and it can get all bundled up and I can get so confused with so many things. But to be reminded that God is in control and he will come through in all of the chaos and all of the confusion and the uncertainty, especially again with everything going on with COVID-19, it can feel so all over the place, right? <laughs> and so to be reminded that God has got it, that in all my feelings, that God has got it. He's got my back. I needed to be grounded and I needed to be reminded of that. Now, in me saying all of this, I <laughs> am definitely in a better place now than I was a month ago, but even then it took some time. I don't want you guys to think that I just woke up all of a sudden and, and was good again. <laughs> it took some time for me to get back in there to to continually think and pray about these things that I didn't just wake up one day and everything was solved. I didn't just wake up one day all of a sudden more faithful. <laughs> I, it took work and it took effort that I had to really fight to get back to where I was. But I'm so grateful that I can say that now a month later after really studying this out that I do feel like I know who God is and I know how powerful he is in my life and that I don't have anything to worry about. That the feelings are still real, but I can have comfort that God has got it, that he's taking care of all of it. I know that there can be a lot of fear right now with COVID-19 and not knowing what's gonna happen, whether it's with jobs or school or relationships or finances, that there can be so many things that we can be worrying about right now, but I just wanna remind you guys that God is almighty that God wants to comfort you and that he will come through on all of his promises. It's amazing the God that we worship. He is the God. He is the faithful God. I just, I, I want to, I, I, I want you guys to know that I'm praying for you guys, that I'm praying that all of you guys can be taking this time that we have, whether you have more time, uh, because you don't have as much schoolwork or you don't have work right now that we can be taking this time to really re be reminded or even just learn who God is in our life. That there can be a lot of uncertainty, but there doesn't have to be with God. And so if you guys have any questions, if you guys have thoughts, or if you guys just want to talk, please feel free to reach out to me. I love talking and quarantine has been very hard for me <laughs> it's been very hard not to see people it's been very hard to be disconnected and and i love calls so please facetime me anytime you want text me email i don't know <laughs> you know, figure out a way to contact me but i would love to hear from you guys to hear about how you guys are doing to hear about any journeys that you're on right now with god um, to even just be able to pray for you guys. If you have a prayer request, please feel free to let me know. I, I want to be a part of your life. I want to be connected any way that I can. And even just to talk about God more. Because again, it's been so great for me to just talk about God with people. To be reminded of who he is. Uh, that he is a constant in our life. It's so amazing. I listened to a podcast a while back and it talked about how God is the definition of everything that he's described as, right? That he's the definition of love, the definition of being almighty, the definition of comfort, the definition of faithful, that he is those things. They're not just things that describe him, but he describes them, which I just think is a really cool thing to think about. Uh, and so I hope that you guys 
uh, are encouraged hearing all of these things, uh, that this was a good reminder for you guys as well. Again, please reach out to me if you have anything that you want to talk about. I'm always here. I am praying for you guys. I love you a lot and I cannot wait to see you again. Bye.